the human eye and vision. The following points will covered in this video. 1. The structure of the eye. Iris. Cornea. Lens. 2. Focusing. Cornea. Accommodation. Structure of the eye. The iris is roughly equivalent to the diaphragm in a camera, the cornea and the lens are both lens-like objects, and the retina is where the image is recorded, similar to a CCD sensor or film. Structure of the eye, iris. The iris is similar to the diaphragm in a camera. Your iris widens in dim light and narrows in bright light. The F number of your eye varies from F slash 2, large opening, to F slash 8, small opening. Compare this to the range of an average camera lens f 2.8 to f 22. Structure of the eye, iris. With a range of only f 2 f 8, your iris can only reduce the light coming into your eye by a factor of 20. The range of intensities that your eye can respond to is a factor of 13 power on 10. The main function of the iris is not to control the intensity of light coming into your eye. Main functions of iris. Reduce aberrations, sharpen image. Structure of the eye, cornea and lens. There are two lenses in your eye, the cornea and the eye lens. The cornea, the front surface of the eye, does most of the focusing in your eye. The eye lens provides adjustable structure of the eye, cornea and lens. This is because the cornea air surface has a large change in the index of refraction, so light bends a lot. The power of the cornea lens is 43 diopters, focal length 2.3 cm. The eye lens is surrounded by the humors, which have a varies of refraction as the lens itself. How your eye focuses. The eye lens is a fixed, unchanging distance, x1, from the retina at the back of the eyeball where the image is created. The eye lens, accommodation. The eye lens changes its focal length by changing its shape. Ligaments pull on the lens to change the amount of eye lens, accommodation. Muscles contract, ligaments relax, more bulge, more bending power, shorter focal length. Muscles relax, ligaments contract, less bulge, less bending power, how your eye lens focuses. Your eye lens has a small depth of field. You can't see something close and far with both objects in focus at the same time. Hold out your thumb about a foot away from your eye. Then, alternately focus on thumb and me, right above your thumb. Note that you cannot focus, at the same time. You focus on one or the other by changing the bulge of your eye. You can understand accommodation by this image given here. Structure of the eye, retina. The retina is the sensor or film of your eye. Its layers do three things. Provide blood and nutrients. Choroid. Absorb light and convert to an electrical signal, photoreceptors. This image shows the inner structure of the retina. Photoreceptors, rods and cones. Light is detected and converted to an electrical signal by the photoreceptors in the retina. There are two main kinds of receptors, rods and cones. This is a false color image, rods and cones are not actually different. Photoreceptors, Cones. Cones are responsible for our fine detailed and color vision. Cones are clustered near the center of your retina, called the fovea. There are 5 million cones and photoreceptors, rods. Rods are responsible for low light and peripheral vision. They are present everywhere in the retina except the fovea. There are 125 million rods in the rods and cones. Because of their different functions, rods and cones are present in varying densities in the retina. The blind spot is due to the connection of the optic nerve. Light sensitivity. Remember we talked about rods and cones. Cones. Sensitive to bright light, photopic conditions. Densely packed in the fovea. Only a few cones per nerve fiber. Rods. Sensitive to low light, scotopic conditions. Retina. Up to ten hundreds of rods per nerve fiber, think of this as many many drops falling into the same pipe, one drop can't be detected, but many drops generate some water flow that can be measured. Dark adaption Even within the cone and rod system, 
your retina adjusts its sensitivity in response to the overall light level. When you walk into a dark room, you can't see anything, but after a few minutes, you adapt and can start to see things. When you walk out into the bright sunlight, everything is blinding, dark adaptation. After about 30 minutes, your eyes are completely dark adapted and can see an amount of light equivalent to a candle 10 miles away. Dark adaptation is a slow process, but allows us to see in a huge range of light. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe our channel. Hit the like button. Share with your friends and classmates.